I feel. <clears throat> you met across, Mrs. Beale? No, I don't think that is. Been sorting it out, have you? I was expecting a letter myself. It arrived then. Just a circular. Oh, hello. Hi. Uh, I wonder if you could help me. Does a young, fair-haired girl live here? Yorkshire girl? Oh, you probably mean Leslie. Oh, uh, yes. Yeah, first floor right at the top of the stairs. Ah, oh, thank you. Just a minute. Yes? You can't go up the stairs just like that. You didn't even know her name a minute ago. You'd better ring a bell. She might not want to see you. All right, which bell? You can read, can't you? Oh, hello. Do I know you? Well, we've not exactly met, but I've seen you over in the laundrette. As a matter of fact, I came to see your friend, the girl you're usually with. It seems I'm not allowed in. It's all right, Mrs. Beale. I'll give Leslie a ring. What's your name? What? Uh, Dave Marston. I'm Meryl. Ah. Leslie's a close one. She never told me about you. No, well, she wouldn't, because I haven't introduced myself yet. Why not? You're not exactly shy, are you? I was going to talk to her last time in the laundrette, but you both left while I was at the spin dry. You're from up north, aren't you? Manchester. Oh, dear. And I think wrong. You'll soon find out. Hello. This is Dave Marsden, an admirer from the laundrette. He wants to meet you. Leslie Losey. Dave's from Manchester. Oh, fancy. You're from Yorkshire, aren't you? Yeah. Bradford. Leeds. You two sound like you swallowed an AA book. Well, I could have sworn I'm usually very good on accents. Well, northern accents. Are you? Yeah. Oh, I'll go over to the laundrette with you. I'm not pushing her or anything. Oh, good. You can put Leslie's soap powder in for her. I'll carry a bag for you, if you like. I can manage. You can carry mine. Thought I'd pop in while your wife's out. You haven't told her? No reason to. She wouldn't be too pleased, I bet. No. Had a chance to fix it yet? Not yet. But don't worry, I'll get it sorted. Well, I could give you the money now, no, if you like. all right. Don't worry. It won't cost much anyway. Well, if it does, you let me know. Sure. Sorry it happened. It's always the same when you borrow something. Anyway, I'm glad it wasn't something more serious. Hmm. That goes down a tree. You, uh... You don't fancy going to a football match this afternoon, do you? Queen's Park Rangers versus Everton. Oh, I can't make it today. Arrange to go skating with a bird at Richmond. Reckon she'll stick to your lip then, eh? <laughs> what do you think? Hey, look, it's time I was off. And thanks again. That's all right. Thanks for the beer. Hey, you should get Harrods to deliver. <laughs> Hello. Oh, charming. You booze while I wear my legs out. What did he want? Do you want some? No, thanks. Well? We were uh, just talking about football. Did you get the batteries? Yeah. How much they are now? Going up again. 
Only 27p, that's all. What, for four batteries? 27p each. We're not going to be able to afford them if they go off anymore. Here, I got some frozen steak uh, for lunch and some frozen prawns. Yeah? I said I got some steak. And these. And you're complaining about tranny batteries? Going to be the lunch of the year, is it? Don't be smart. Well, it's bloody stupid. Sausages would have done. Fancy start the steak. Wine. Look, I've got to make some effort, Ian. They are my parents. Your parents, my in-laws. Look, you agreed to this truce. OK, but it won't be easy. Remember, he tried to lay one on me. Yeah. Well, he'll be trying to forget as well. No need to make a fuss for me. Don't flatter yourself. It's cleaning up morning. How do you like your coffee in the north? Strong. How do you like your women? <laughs> Sugar. No, thanks. It's only calories. I get enough of them in food. So does she. <laughs> Anything wrong? Just looking for the mark. Mark? Your flat cap mate. Oh, I'm not wearing it today. You hear that, Leslie? He's not wearing his flat cap today. Drop dead, Johnson. <gasps> she has got a temper. Are you all like that, North of Watford? <laughs> Coffee, all right? Mm, great. You sure you won't have any, Leslie? No. What do you do for a living then, Dave? I'm an engineer. Well, what do you engineer? Cars. Make them? No, I'll repair them. Uh, you mean you're a motor mechanic? No, motor engineer is the job description these days. I don't see why people pretend they're something they're not. It's like a rat catcher calling himself a pestologist. He's a flipping rat catcher, and you're a flipping mechanic. OK, OK. What does that make you, then? Oh, leave him alone. He's a guest. <sighs> Where's your place, Meryl? Just next door. <coughs> well, this is very nice, Leslie. It's grotty as hell. There's a lot of... What? Doesn't matter. No, sir. Uh, I was just going to say, there's a lot of you round here. A lot of girls? No, um, a lot of... Uh... Curly-haired girls. It means blacks. Don't you have any blacks in Manchester? Yeah, of course we do, but not so many as here. Do you mind there being a lot of us around? Oh, of course not. Have you ever been out with a black girl, Dave? Matter of fact, I haven't, no. Would you like to? Yeah, give them the chance. Well, I'm not doing anything tonight. Oh, well. Don't you fancy me? Yes, but you see... She's pulling your leg. Me? Dare yeah, you. Actually, it was Leslie I came to see. Of course it was. And here's me playing gooseberry. OK, I'll pop off and get me ears pierced or something. See you around, Dave. I hope so. Bye, Leslie. She's very attractive, isn't she? She's all right. What part of Leeds do you come from? Do you know Leeds? No. Well, you won't never tell you then, will you? I've been with Manchester United when they've played at Elland Road. Well, it seems all right. It's not far from there. Where I live. Oh. There's a lot of new tower blocks. Yeah. Uh, it's the same in Gorton. That's where I lived in Manchester. I don't like them, do you? Not much, no. They echo. I don't like lifts. You come down here for a job, did you? Yeah, did you? Yes, yeah, the only place. Couldn't you get a job in Manchester as a... Motor engineer. Ah, I would. But uh, this is where to be, isn't it, London? Don't you agree? Well, what do you do for a living? I'm a typist. <laughs> What's so funny? Ah, women are always on about equality. Equal pay, job opportunity, you know. Most of them still do the same old jobs. What's so clever about being a motor mechanic? It's very interesting. Very challenging. So's typing. Look, I'm sorry, but I've got a lot to do this morning. There's only one Saturday morning a week. Ah, that's true. Washing your hair, all that. Mm. Yeah, my sister does more work on a Saturday morning than she does all week. <laughs> She's a typist. So if you don't mind... Well, you want me to blow? 
That is the general idea. Oh. Right. Thanks for the coffee. Ah. Enjoyed it. Very nice indeed. Thank you. I didn't have any breakfast. You know your way out. It. Yeah. Bye. Look, are you doing anything tonight? I'm afraid so. Tomorrow? Sorry. How long have you been down here, in London? Six months. Hmm. I've been here three months. And you're the first girl I've spoken to. I'll look out for you in the laundrette. Oh, just one thing. What did uh, Meryl find so funny? I got the feeling you had some sort of joke going. Oh, it didn't matter. Was it me? No, no, it's just that, well, you being from Manchester, well, we had a Betsy that I wouldn't go out with anybody from up there, you know, from a poem. Part of the idea of coming down here. Change of scene. Uh, and it wouldn't be, would it? Going out with me. Bye. There's some mashing, Dad. Thanks. And I've got a lovely new jacket for Alison. Oh, you shouldn't have. What about Ian? Well, what about him? Oh, I thought you might have got him a little something, too. I'm afraid we didn't think of it. Oh, never mind. It's great to see you anyway. Come on. Dennis! Didn't forget me flat cap, did I? About tonight. Yeah. Well, I can't get out of what I'm doing, honest. But I'm not doing anything this afternoon. Fancy a film? Yeah. Well, supposing I call for you at two o'clock, then? That's fine. Great. That's really great. Hello, I think this is our first job away from home. Oh, well done. Please, Hello, Ian. All right, Ian. Nice to see you. Yeah, look what Dad gave me. Aren't they lovely? Yeah. And I bought this for Alison. Is she asleep? Yeah, but I've got to wake her up after lunch. Here, do you want to have a look at her? Why not? Come on, then. Oh, I, uh, I forgot. This is for you. Thanks, but I roll me own. Still, they'll uh, do as a standby. Thanks. Nice piece of steak, this, love. Mm. What do you say, Sim? Too busy eating, eh? <laughs> Very nice. Cooked nicely, too. Job going all right, Ian? Yeah, fine. Yeah, you retired yet, Dad? No, oh, that'll be the day. The only people who can afford to retire these Take days... Take your favourite meal, Ian. Yeah, when we can afford it. Yeah, more wine, Dad. No, no, not for me, thanks, no. No, oh, no, you're down to brown ale, man, as you know. I can't see what there is to wine. How about you, Ian? It's all right. Now, give me a good brown ale any day. Men, they've got no taste. They'd be living like pigs if it wasn't for us. How's the car running? Oh, it's all right, isn't it, Ian? Yeah, great. I am surprised. Mind you, I still think you bought yourselves a load of trouble. I mean, 15 pounds for a car. It goes, Mum. Yes, but for how long? But we've had our money's worth out of it already, haven't we, Ian? Yeah, well, I think so. Still, 15 pounds. Is it safe? I'm thinking about Alison. Do you think I'd let her ride in it if I didn't think so? Of course not. And how do you know it's safe? I mean, you're not a motor mechanic, are you? Oh, Doreen. What? Remember what we used to run around in? What? A motorbike and sidecar, that's what. Oh, you should have seen it, Ian. Talk about a wreck. Yeah, well, things were different then. Nobody had any money. We was young, same as these two are. We'd have gone around on roller skates. Oh. The car really running all right, Ian? Yeah, not bad at all. I've uh, busted a rear light, but apart from that... Did you that, do that? Last night. Never mentioned it to me. Oh. Yeah, but it's nothing. Well, why don't I have a look at it after lunch, eh? If you like, but I can easily repair it myself. Yeah, I know, but two heads, I mean, not to mention another pair of hands. You do know you've got your best suit on, don't you? Yes, so I'll be careful. I'm not going to call under the damn car, am I? I'll see it doesn't. Men, they always stick together. You've got to, eh, Ian? Yeah, right. You look nice. No, oh, I don't like that word. Nice, nice, nice. It's a nothing word. 
Stunning, then. Spot on. One, two, bumble, error, I saw me auntie Sarah sitting on the... What sort of song's that? Let's hit me ma's knee. Well, it sounds rude to me. Probably is if I knew any more. I know some even ruder ones. Learned those at your ma's knee too, did you? No, me dad's. Don't you know any daft songs? Knees up Mother Brown. Or would you prefer Old Man River? Oh, that's not daft, that's beautiful. Oh. Nobody knows the trouble I've seen. Nobody knows the trouble I've seen. Oh, I've never heard it with a northern accent before. <laughs> Very funny. Anyway, that's me finished. Can't improve on nature anymore. Mm. What time is it? A minute to two. Oh, I better be off. I've got an idea Dave's the punctual sort. Oh, I'll bring him up if you like. You can be lying all swan there on your bed like Eartha Kitt. No, thanks. I wouldn't want to be giving him any ideas. Oh, he'd get ideas just watching you put your coat on. Everything I do is sexy. Even the way I blow my nose. <laughs> Do you know, I reckon today was the first time he'd ever been inside a girl's flat. Ah, oh, ain't that sweet. Just like I've never been inside a fella's. Liar. I am, honest. You really are a different breed north of Birmingham. No, it's just that because it's colder, we wear longer comms. Comms? Don't you know anything? On the other hand, he could be a mad rapist. I'll come with you if you like. Not on your life. What time are you going out? Depends. I'm expecting a phone call. Anybody I know? He's married. Oh, not again. Men are funny, though, aren't they? Especially my dad. Especially him. Still, he had his reasons. You getting married like you did. I mean, to get married like I did. Coming here to a place like this. Oh, come on, Mum. It isn't that bad. He was bound to be upset, his only daughter. Do you think he's got round to liking Ian yet? Well, there's one thing about your dad. He doesn't bear a grudge. Well, not for long, anyway. You haven't said how you feel now. Well, this isn't what I wanted for you, and it's no use pretending that it is. I can understand you getting yourself into trouble. I mean, bear but for the grace but of we're God. all right, Mum, me and Ian. If you say so. Uh, got the kettle on then, have you? You just had your lunch. You're walking teapot, that one. That was a couple of hours ago. Right, we're off then, as soon as we've had a warm. Who is? Hey, me and Ian. We're off to see Queen's Park Rangers at Loftus Road. We just about got time. Oh, you're not, you know. I promised I'd drop in at Miriam's. Miriam? But I don't even like Miriam. It is my day off, you know, my one and only. I should be up to me, I think, right, cleaning all tomorrow. All right, all right, all right. Oh, I'm sorry, Ian. Well, you go if you want to. You don't mind? Of course not. Go. Don't spoil him, love. That's fatal. What's that on your sleeve? Oh, where? You have dirtied your suit, haven't you? I knew you would. I don't know what Miriam will think. Her husband's an accountant, you know, Carol. Well, it's only 20 to 6. Well, I've got to be out again by half past. That's nearly an hour. You know, you're a big disappointment to me. How's that? Well, I bet Meryl, you've never been inside the girl's flat before. Oh, she ought to run a book. Hmm? Meryl, you're always betting with her about one thing or another. Oh, I'm sorry about that. Anyway, I hadn't been inside a girl's flat. Not till this morning. Oh, and you're in a pretty big hurry to get in there again. Just for a coffee. I've heard that before. Honest. No. Well, when will I see you? It's up to you. Tomorrow? So soon? You sure you want to? Yeah. Right. I'll call for you. What time? After dinner. Dinner meaning lunch? No, dinner meaning dinner. They call it lunch. Yeah, they are a bit refined down here, aren't they? Yeah, they don't know any better. Uh, Ta-ra. Hey, I'm glad you changed your mind. Me too. I'll see you tomorrow then.
Skipping down the road. Oh, yeah. How's it going? It's smashing. Nicest fella I've met in London. Yeah, because it's from up north. I'll be smashing up there, too. So it's going all right, then. Don't be nosy. Oh, have a good time, did you, at the match? Of course. Only one, didn't we? You've been having a crafty kip, haven't you, eh? Yeah, it was lovely. I can tell your face is all spodgy. Spodgy? What's that? All puffed up. Thanks. Hey, look at this. Four drawers, right one after the other. I think we're in with a chance here. Yeah? You'll be lucky. Bloody hell, flaming tram here. How did they manage to win away? And party thistle. I don't think Scottish teams should be allowed on the farm. You don't know their form, do you? Look, you'll never win on them things. They're a waste of money. I will one day. I'll come up. You wait and see. You know the first thing I'm going to buy? What? A fairground. A fairground? Yeah. I've always fancied owning a fairground, you know, with a big cigar and everything. Look, you've got to be lucky to win on them things. Have a lucky touch. I bet you've never even won a raffle ticket like me. I have. I once won a football down the local youth club. Signed by the England team, it was. They're a load of rubbish calling for favourite. Only the World Cup winning team. They weren't rubbish. Look, you've got to have a lucky touch to win a football pools. And you haven't. It's just like the premium bonds. My dad's got about 50, but does he ever win? Never. Got an Irish sweep ticket. You have it. I have. Here, look. My mother bought it me. Just one? Well, it's all she could afford, wasn't it? Yeah, you could win 20,000 quid on this now. Why do you think I'll keep it? But you won't. Oh, no. I'm not lucky. You're nice, though. Mm. When you try. Thanks for nothing. No, I mean it. Well, thanks for making it up with me, Dad. Well, he's all right, I suppose. Seeing as he's a fella. Your face is all spodgy. Get off! Was it really all right? Great, actually. Mm. What? Just this morning, he was a cotton pot straight out of the Manchester jungles. You owe me 10p, by the way. Cheap at the price. He's got other qualities. He must have. Where'd you go? No. One part of a cuckoo's nest. Back row? Two from the front. How romantic. It was. He's very clever. Is he? He's got two A-levels. Fancy. How many have you got? None. Never been out with a boy who's got A-levels before. Then what's he doing working as a motor mechanic? Uh, engineer. Well, why isn't he in a bank or something? Ah, oh, no, that's where he's clever. I might have known. You see, he reckons the engineers will inherit the earth. Especially the motor engineers, because there won't be enough of them, see? Dave reckons. Yeah. Fascinating. Oh, well, I'm glad you had a good time. I had a fabulous time. Fabulous, fabulous. Where did you go? Nowhere. He never rang. Oh, I'm sorry. Serves me right for getting mixed up with a married bloke. It happens. Yeah, all the time to me. He isn't married, is he? No. Mr. Wonderful. Is he, yeah? No, I thought they married young in the North. Where did you get that? <laughs> I don't know. I think I read it somewhere. Oh, well, I haven't. Aren't I getting any coffee? Yeah. Well, then. He's not married. He's fabulous, fabulous. What's up with you? You want to take it easy. 